We're here this morning at Norbrook Laboratories for the Northern Ireland Chamber Export First Programme. Danske Bank have been working with the Northern Ireland Chamber for over three years to design and develop this programme with one key objective, that being to help export ambition become export achievement for more local businesses. We're delighted to be sponsoring the event. We at Danske Bank are very keen to equip businesses with the tools and skills they need in order to export. Well, essentially why I'm here today is to help work with businesses, local businesses, to help support them, to help to support them in their export trade because it is one area that the department is, uh, well, it needs a wee bit more support and a bit more drive in. But as well as that, it's important too that we're here in Newry where cross-border issues are very important and indeed where as a committee, the Enterprise Committee, we've, we've looked at the implications of investment, investment in our roads, infrastructure and in our jobs, support for jobs, but it's particularly relevant in the context of where we're looking at uh, reductions in corporation tax, but also the implications of where to be a Brexit, a withdrawal from the EU, where exports and integration of markets, particularly within the island of Ireland, is crucially important. Well, it's obviously Going into a sector or an industry that uh, is, is is buoyant or is at least growing as such, you know, it means that there's opportunities. You know, so you have. To, we were fortunate, probably. I'm not sure how much thought went into it, but we obviously went into the animal health, the veterinary sector. Uh, it was a good sector. There were opportunities. Yes, Lord Belly Edmund. Uh, he had a vision. He saw that there were opportunities in the animal health industry. He saw that that he understood where that industry was going. You know, when he started the business in 1969, uh, as he was then, Edward Tahoe as such, you know, later to become Lord Valley Edmund in more recent years, uh, he started business himself. He started uh, just buying in bulk and, and packaging into smaller quantities. Then he saw, look, I can manufacture this. He knew it would be challenging. He employed people. He managed to get uh, the resources to recruit skilled uh, pharmacists from uh, the industry as such, so he knew that you had to develop products, you had to get a foothold, so he used whatever resources he had to get products, he then used the resources to market those products. Look, different markets are more challenging than others as such, so you probably have to carefully look at which markets uh, you should go into first. Uh, you should make sure that the markets you go into are financially sound. You know, we, we probably have been exporting for over 40 years now, so basically we, we understand the markets, we have people in each, each of those markets. Uh, European markets probably would be would would be safer. Uh, the customer, you'll get to know them better, they'd be less risky. I think it's a great event, um, really showcasing uh, the, the, the efforts within URI to, towards growing export and, and uh, you know, international markets. It's, uh, we obviously have uh, been you know, really attempting to grow our exports recently and we've seen some good successes. Um, obviously, Norbrook would be a, a shining example of how, how to go about that and they've had massive success over the years so they'd be a good, you know, they'd be a good signpost for everybody else to follow, I think.